Hi, so um, like any printer you've ever uh, encountered, paper jams are a fairly common experience with the risograph printer. Uh, and they will, the machine will sort of tell you the location of the jam with this little graphic. It actually has LED lights that illuminate underneath the different areas of the machine to sort of alert you where the paper is jammed, all right? So most common areas for the jam are going to be the initial feed, uh, the release into uh, that landing tray, or uh, as it, the paper is trying to make contact with our master uh, uh, cylinder or cartridge uh, right in the center. All right, so this video, I'm just gonna show you sort of how you access each of those areas, all right? So if you get a paper jam uh, and it is telling you that the problem is either in this location one, that tray, or in that first feed number six, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over to that original tray. This is pretty manual. So you're going to drop your paper all the way and then you're going to just get your eyes right in there. And uh, if it is usually, you know, you'd have your paper sort of, well, not shaking, dangling out and you gently with two hands kind of clear that jam out this way and then pull your paper out. If it's any bent one on top, remove it and make sure that all the paper is nice and square and stacked properly before you lift uh, the tray and ready it for print. After you've done that, if you've cleared the jam, usually it doesn't change the on this indicator until you hit this yellow reset button. So you would, after tending to it there, hit the yellow reset and it should be ready to print. If there's still an illuminated jam, the next place, if it's saying it's in the center, uh, what you will do is you will go ahead and open your uh, Rezo machine. You will make sure that uh, this is illuminated and you will open and slide out the master and then and you might even lift lift your ink all the way out if you really feel like you need to but usually you'd see the paper sort of in that area and you gently remove it making sure nothing is ripping or tugging if if it's really feels stuck take the cartridge all the way out it means you'll have to make a new master but um it'll allow you to do two hands and very gently kind of take that paper out and then you'd again close and reset all right the last place that you could encounter a paper jam would be in that landing tray again um it probably has come out to a degree and you can see it two hands if you can reach in and gently lift that out all right the other warning that you might get uh, is that you need to clear uh, this master tray so if you come back over here this is not a paper jam uh, but this means that you know, people have made lots and lots of these master prints and cleared them. And so you take it out, kind of pulling on the blue, and you can see all of the old master prints kind of get clogged up in there. It, I'm surprised I actually didn't get the warning already because it is clearly just about full. So then, very manually, You actually clear these into the garbage can. <laughs> Where's my camera? I'm not sure where the garbage can is. Uh-oh. This is an awkward part of the video. 
Oh, I found it. <laughs> Here we go. And they are a little inky. You might have to wash your hands after this. But then your machine is going to be way happier. And so we'll bring this back. And again, press the reset button. There are, of course, other sort of errors that can come up within the complex uh, machinery of this machine. So if you get particular error codes uh, that aren't signaling exactly that they are a paper jam, uh, or or that you need to clear that master tray. Uh, you can come to the Rezo manual, which is on top of that ink cartridge shelf. Uh, and towards the, uh, you can look at the in index, but it has a whole table which lists all of the different error codes and gives you direction for, to how to fix it. You can follow those directions, finish with a reset and see if that solves it. From our expert staff here, Susanna and Catherine, they also say, if you have followed the steps, hit the reset and it still seems a little stuck, go ahead and turn the machine off, wait 30 seconds, turn it back on, just kind of like every computing device um, we've probably encountered before uh, that allows the machine to fully reset and usually it wakes up much happier. All right, that's it for this video.